Hello and welcome to Efficient Strategy Gaming. Today we're going to be previewing Panzer Corps II Axis Operations 1944 Battle of Shandor Shandorovka. Not too good with the pronunciation there. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, so let's get into it here. This comes out November 8th and it is a DLC for Panzer Corps II. One of the old school games that I love to play. It's not old school, but it started off with like Panzer General back in the day and has been updated through the years. And it is one of my favorites. So we're going to start off the whole campaign with Axis Operations 1944. As you can see, there's a bulge here in the middle of the Eastern Front. And largely, I think the strategy here is this is mainly marshes. So... You can give up that area. Uh, there's nothing there but wetlands, so they wouldn't. Uh, they'd probably pull back and make a line further back. The problem that you constantly have in this area of the world, if you're like playing a game in Barbarossa, is the fact that the Donets River snakes far east here so it comes in from the west and then snakes far east, and you can see this line of lakes is basically outlining the Donets River. And uh, what happens is in every like Hearts of Iron 4 game that you'll play is if the Soviets can push west above you, it creates a huge pocket down here just below Kiev and above Crimea. So that's what we're doing here. Uh, we're trying to get out of this pocket or reestablish a front line. All right, the first thing that you do in Panzer Corps 2 with any campaign is you set up your general. Let's go terrain expert. Friendly units get plus one base entrenchment in any terrain, even in open ground when cr and when crossing a river. That's pretty OP, actually. Okay, so we're going to get a briefing here. And to summarize it, there is basically our own divisions in a pocket here. And we're coming from the east near Corson to be able to uh, relieve this pocket. I looked this up on Google Maps. Kiev is up here to the north, and here's the Dnieper River. You see one of the lakes that comes around. So off the bat, you have quite good weapons, and the Panzer Corps II devs are Panther and apparently Elephant simps, so that's what we're going to be doing. So for whatever reason, they're they are really like the Panther D or G. G is actually the best. Uh, it's going to give you the most mobility, etc. Um, so I'm going to keep as many Panthers as possible. The problem is at this point of the game, the Tiger actually has one extra defense, which doesn't seem like a lot, but it really is. The Recon is not going to do much for us. Okay, so I redeployed everything um, just to show you guys how important the opening moves are. And it is a little cheesy, but... You'll have to remember that one of the buffs is, uh, I think, plus four, three, and two, or is it three, two, one initiative on our first, second, and third turns? So it's so important to get your first turn correct. So I've played this a little bit just so that I could show you guys, you know, how to play the game here. But I've got the opening move down here and it's to delete that infantry. And then there's going to be a huge tank po pocket. You might not be able to see this, but there's an escarpment here, which means that's impassable terrain. And they've, for some reason, lined up along this ridge line. And uh, let me tell you, it's going to be pretty ugly for... The Soviets. See, so he can move around. Okay, that puts these guys in an encirclement situation. So I like that. I'm just going to move everyone ahead as much as possible. And the big thing here is to just dump on their anti-tank. Because the anti-tank is going to get a shot every turn. So it looks like he's got four or five shots there. And every time we attack, he's going to be able to touch us up a bit more. So it looks like the elephant going first. Looks like that's going to be a good play.
and they surrendered. If you have a choice, always target the tanks. Okay, so that guy was red suppressed. So I expected that guy to go down easy. This guy's orange suppressed. He went down pretty easy. As you can see, we're capturing that enemy equipment. So that's pretty critical. I'm just gonna take a Panther in here because it'll be able to catch up with the rest of the forces next turn. And uh, unfortunately that took us two attacks. So that's not the best. We'll move this Tiger up from the back. And I can tell you one thing coming around this way, you're gonna link up with your own forces here, but they're also gonna create a barrier here where you can't get into a pocket. So the Soviets are pushing up from the south to create that pincer move. And we should find more Soviets up in the north to create a pocket over here near Kanev and Corson. Infantry in the open is just uh, really good for the, uh, the tanks there, as you can see. Oberst Wagner, we have a reestablished contact with the garrison left to hold Kanev. But the news is grim. Sometime after most of the troops remaining in the pocket were sent south to guard that flank, the skeletal force left behind to defend Kanev came under attack from the direction of Kiev. They will continue to hold their ground to prevent the pocket collapsing from the north, but there is little we can do for them for now. We should move on and complete our objective so that their sacrifices will not be in vain. Objective to make contact with Kenev defenders completed. Okay. You want to keep these guys together because of my negative trait of uh, fear of the unknown. So they can mutually support each other because they have to m swim through this kind of like uh, the speed bumps here. You know what I mean? You have to step them up one at a time because I can't just dive into the fog of war here. Oh boy. This guy's going to have to go all the way back, huh? Or shift left click. There it is. Okay, there's an escarpment here in like a valley. Lowlands. We don't want to get in that valley, but we want to keep skirting around to Lizianka. Oberst Wagner, our troops have reached Corson, but there is no sign of either the 11th or the 42nd Corps. All we found left commander of 9, 11th Corps left Corson after all communications to anyone outside the pocket was lost. He left to try to enter to reestablish re contact from another location. And if we want to catch up to him, we should head towards the northwest end of the pocket. Okay. If we just follow up, the movement is so sticky. Can't really move that quickly in this snow. Okay, so let's maintain that encirclement. We found their first elements here. Overrun. It was just a level one tank, so that makes sense. We could split the tiger. There we go. It really can't do anything there let's pass the turn at least our forces are combined together so i think they want us to go to the southwest after we clean this pocket up but we only have one turn left so i think we could stick a fork in this one we lost this one pretty bad shandrakova looks like the 17 centimeters doing the majority of the work here Oh, that was it. Okay. So if you lose that scenario, it uh, looks like you lose the whole game. We probably should have moved around the map a bit differently. So we came down here to the south. There was strong forces here. We probably should have taken that pocket out. And then we got stuck down here. Um, I think what they really want you to do is move through the middle. I'm not quite sure. This was too juicy of a pocket to just leave on the battlefield. The other thing is we do have to hook up with Kanev. We do have to hook up over here. I guess what we should have done is taken this pocket, come back to the main road because movement was very good along the main road, but movement down here was sticky and did not work whatsoever. So we should have gone through here, taken that town, encircled it first, gone through Kanev, and then both forces should have met up at Corson after we take out the middle 
pocket that the Soviets presented with us. So they had tanks here and here. Then it looks like after we hooked up with Shandarkova, we'd have to go down here and not quite sure what's going on in this town above, but it looks like it's Soviet held. So you might have to go up here and capture that as well. And it would be nice uh, prestige farming territory as well. So that's going to end it for uh 1944 axis operations panzer Corps 2 go check it out on steam uh not sure what the price is it's probably going to be uh ten dollars but it comes out november 8th uh so yeah check that out and i'll see you on the next one guys